All right, here's today's money saving tip. The school year is starting, which means the money is starting. Specifically when it comes to that thing called school pictures. You know, that day where everyone shows up and just decides how much money can we spend today? Here's some tips to be able to answer that question with not a lot. First, when those photos come out, pay close attention to what you're actually buying because a lot of times the packages will include a whole bunch of pictures that you don't really want. Second, and this is kind of weird, but you can actually create your own photo session. Some parents have even hired professional photographers to do it and just gotten a bunch of kids together. Sure, it seems odd, but when you consider the fact that most of the school pictures are being taken in a gym with a green screen background, there's really not much of a difference. Or if that's too much work, which it probably is, then my best tip is to buy the digital download package. They're usually smaller packages that you can download and most importantly, you are not going to have to worry about copyright issues. As an attorney, some things that we see are copyright infringements on photos. Most photo places are not actually going to pursue this because it's just too cost prohibitive. But for instance, when you get a picture and then you start emailing it out to people, you might not actually have the rights to do that. The digital download download package, you usually do. Although, of course, you want to make sure you check the language. And you can get those digital download packages for like $25, $35, instead of, in some cases, paying like over 100 for school pictures. Which is crazy when you don't even know if they're going to show up and have a good hair day. You know what I mean?